Look you smiling. Hey guys and gals, Casey Nelson here coming at you. Today we are starting our TF Guide series and we are going to do four parts. Today is part one and when I'm not playing ADC, I'm playing two mid champs, TF or Annie. And the reason why I love TF so much is you can influence a game huge by ganking with your ultimate and affecting multiple lanes rather than just your own. So in this guy, I'm going to go over all the masteries and runes and spells and item build and the tips that I know work with TF. I've played probably a thousand games ranked and I've gotten to diamond level playing him. So I hope that I can impose some of the knowledge I've learned onto you and it can help the way that you play the game as well. And hopefully you can pick up TF. So let's start out. We'll start with the runes here. We go magic pen reds, armor yellows, magic resist blues. And then for quince, we go movement speed. And that's preference as far as the quince go. Because while we're playing TF, really our whole goal is just a gold card and use our wild cards and then get out. And so I really enjoy having the movement speed to just buzz around the map, catch up to them to make sure we can get that gold card and get that kill. But if you're not comfortable with that, you can go ability power and that's fine as well. Mastery page, I go 2109 and that is because we go 9 in utility for the movement speed on Wanderer and 1 in Runic Affinity. That way our blue buff is going to last longer, assuming our jungler is going to give it to us. And then 21 in the offense tree, that's for the AP side. If you need help last hitting, you can go with Butcher. Uh, but otherwise, pretty straightforward on the masteries, guys. And then spells, we go Flash, Ignite, Flash, so we can get out of sticky situations, as most mids will do. And then Ignite to get that last bit of damage in. But I like to use Flash offensively as well, because CC is huge in this game. And if we can just Flash Gold card, and we can get that last stun in, we can get the kill. So a lot of th neat things you can do with Flash on TF. So that's the basic setup. And I'm going with the Musketeer, Twisted Fate. Love that skin. So we have a game plan in place. And from 1 to 6, we just farm. And we farm with blue card. It's really easy. And then we either gank when a jungler comes, or we wait till we hit six, and then we immediately look to gank other lanes. And again, as I said before, I love TF because you can gank and help a lane that's having trouble, or you can help snowball a lane that's already ahead. And you can be everywhere at once, and you can come back to mid, farm up, and do it again. And so you're able to control the early phases of the game. And if you are better than what your ELO says you are, then you're gonna be able to carry your team a little easier than if you don't have a, you know, as much of a mobile champion as TF. So, once again, lane, we'll see how it goes. As far as counters to TF and who you should not pick into, which I'm doing it for you. Ari's a counter to TF, Fizz is, Cassidy is, okay? So don't pick, if you're just learning TF, into those champions, because they are very mobile, especially Fizz and Ari, and they can do a lot of damage to you, So and they can all in you as well. So. It is kind of a, a situational pick, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. So we have a good team comp. This is kind of the screen where I look at their team comp, look at ours, and kind of picture how team fights are gonna go down. So with them, they have Sona alts, and then Ari has her charm. Those are the two big forms of CC. So initiations are probably gonna be something like a flash Sona alt or maybe an Ari jump and charm. So we just gotta be positioned correctly. And then our team, we have a Zac who can jump in, Nocturne that can jump in. Zyra peels really well. So as Twisted Fate in team fights, we can either go for the squishy or we can peel for our ADC. And really their only big threat is Nasus that can jump in on our ADC. And I think Zyra can handle that really well. So that might give us an opportunity to go for Ari or Caitlyn. But we'll see how it goes. You know, most of the time it's just about surviving and getting the kills on the targets and creating those matchups. So we'll get in here. I like I like it from the start, our team comp a little better. They went double AP and we got a tanky top. So we might just have to build early AP. It depends. Ideally though, we want to go Lich Bane first, Death Cap, or we go Lich Bane and then zone is hourglass, just depend on how team fights are going. So nice thing about Lich Bane, it gives us movement speed and it allows us to do bonus damage after we use an ability. 
and that's really good for pushing or autoing after we have our gold card, wild card. So first skill is pick a card and starting items are going to be boots and four health pots. Again, it just goes with the theme of being mobile, farming, and then we'll build up from there. Another option you can go is Dorn's blah, Ring and two health pots. Thing is though, Dorn's, I think Dorn's Ring is more for aggressive mids where we really just care about farming. So we want that sustain with the extra health pots. Nice thing with TF is you can choose pick a card and you can go gank early. It is very scary. So here's how pick a card works. So there's three cards, blue, red, gold. Each card does something different. Blue card does the most damage and it restores mana. So that's what we're farming with. That way we're not wasting mana and it's really easy to farm because it does a ton of damage. Red card is an AoE slow. So we use that when we clear waves later. And then sometimes in team fights you use it. It's very situational. But really as we're just starting to learn TF, we're gonna stick with blue and gold card. And then gold card is the money card. It's gold for a reason. It's the stun, stuns for one second. It does the least amount of damage. So that's why we're gonna farm with blue, stun with gold, and then wild card for the main bulk of our damage. So we pick this level one and then we max Q. We get one point in E at level three, just so we can have that extra tool to farm. And it does do a decent amount of extra damage later in the game. And obviously we hit our ultimates win at 6, 11, and 16. So, hope our jungler will pull out blue. So the way pick a card works is you press W to activate it and it's gonna start twirling above your head. The next time you press W, it's gonna lock it in until you throw it and apply that card's abilities, I should say. So, all right, all right, let's do this. So Ari is a counter. So we're just gonna play it nice and easy, wait for our jungler to come, farm it up. I know it's not, you know, the funnest gameplay, and you want to be getting kills, but what's fun is LP. And we're going to get that farm. If you do harass, and you're going against someone that you feel like that you can beat, harass with blue. Because it's going to do the most damage, which is good. And also, you get that mana back, so you're not wasting mana on harass. And if you're getting zoned out, you can wild card the minion to get that last hit. So... That's always an idea. I see Nocturne at the red. He might come gank here. Might be a good chance to get a gold card. Make Ari flash away. So, we'll get it. Not, nothing crazy. So, we're gonna gold card. And, okay, perfect. So that's totally worth it. That's totally fine to get her to blow flash because now I have flash and if we wanna kill, Nocturne just has to come back. I can flash gold card win. So anytime you can get little videos like that, we'll take it. I got this. So again, we're just farming. So we are level three. We're going to get E. So every fourth attack, your next auto does bonus magic damage. And you know it's doing that by the symbols that are going to show up here. See those cards around me? So if you don't have blue card up, then you can auto with that. That's going to do more damage than your auto attack. So that's another farming tool. So, Boom. What's up, Ari? So Nocturne looks like might be looking for a gank here. Hard to say. She's at full HP and she's next to her tower. So it's not a good chance to gank. Remember, we're just a wild card in it. And max Q first. Sorry, YouTube. Just busy. Phone's blown up. Ooh, Nocturne. Nocturne, you're so hungry, aren't you? Gold card. See what she, see if she comes in. But so we're pressing our luck, right? We haven't seen their jungler. We are kind of far up, and I really want to farm well. And I don't want to die. So we have our game plan. We know what we're. We're all about. So Nocturne keeps trying to gank and he's losing CS and XP. So hopefully he, hopefully he goes Bach. I just don't know where the jungler is and we're pushed up. So the problem is if you do wild card to farm, you are risking pushing the lane. So 
kind of be aware of that. We're dodging. Max and Q here. And all right, their jungler's top, so it's okay if we're just kind of dancing around with Ari. That's kind of the thing you guys see is where's their jungler? Because we'll get wards when we go back, but we just need to know where they're at now. And you can also harass when your stack deck is up. Looks like and they recently changed that if you lock the card in, it only lasts for about four seconds. Usually before it was like 10 seconds, so you could lock the card really early. So Ari uses the move. She's not going to have too much damage because she just used her little orb. Ow. So once Ari hits six, she can basically all in us. So. We just got to be aware because we're almost six, so she's going to be almost six. So she's probably going top. We're going to say, hey guys, get out. She is six, so she can dash to us, so we're just going to get out. Okay, good. I went down south because if I cut the corner, she might dash through, so we don't want her to do that. Pop the last pot, see if she's, she's going to push this lane and we don't want to lose all that CS. She's tried to use her charm. Silly Ari. She's probably going to farm this. That's not nice. So she's out of mana as well. And CS wise, we're only down eight. Honestly, it's not too bad at all, considering that we're going against a counter. So, while it is kind of annoying to have to stay in the back sometimes, it's better to. Oh, come on. Yeah, what up? Hmm. So, usually you need the blue. I'm not sure why Nocturne didn't give us the blue. But you know what? We're gonna fight on. We could ask nicely. Hey, can I have next blue, please? So when you go back, we get we're building the Lich Bane. So our first half is gonna be Sheen. Second half is gonna be the Blasting Wand. So we get Sheen first. Two pots and a ward, just so we can know where Nasus is. Our ultimate's up, so we want to immediately look for a gank. Bottom's too weak for me to gank, because of Zyra, so we don't want to risk it. And we don't want to go into the fight, forcing them to fight, and if they die, then ultimate rage will consume. But we are definitely ultimately looking for a fight. So when I hit six, what I like to do is push the lane. That way, Ari can't see where I'm at, and it's almost a guessing game. And I see Nasus. He's coming in hot. That's fine. And we're gonna go gank. See if Nocturne goes. And he goes. We go for Caitlyn. Ignite. Unload everything on her. And then boom. So we don't wanna. The thing is, we don't wanna stay around too long. We wanna go back to mid. Because Ari, if she's smart, she would push. And looks like she's not. But she's around here. Because we don't see her come back. So after every kill, I want you to think okay, what's our next objective? Can we get a tower? Can we get a dragon? In this case, we can get the dragon. So that one kill turns into a lot of team gold for us. And so that is exactly how you want to start the game. So what does that do? That gives bottom lane a little more cushion. You know, they're up a, up a kill. Like I said, I should probably figure out who got the kill. <laughs> Nocturne, I think, got the kill. But you, you know what I mean. I mean, they can farm again, they can push the lane, they can do some things, so. And we got dragons, so they got more gold. You get the joke. You get the idea. So again, I'm looking at the map. Anything going on? I don't have any mana. So really, we're just going to hang out, wait for her to push. Choo, choo, choo. She's a little train. Choo, choo. She is strong. Okay, cool. So we'll come back. We'll ask not to cover mid. Actually, he might not because he is low on health. So at this point, 
you know, I'm going to go with Boots 2. And you can go Blasting 1 or Boots 2. Since Ari is so mobile, I guess I just want that extra Boots. And the Source Pen actually is pretty nice. So, she might all in Old Nocturne. We'll get back before she gets this tower. So, we're going to be down CS typically because we are ganking and leaving the, ta the lane. So, that's just something that's going to happen. You can get it. You'll get the CS back. Ouchie. Ouch. Stop it. She can all in here. Oh. That hurts. That's why Ari counters Tia. Because she can just jump like that. And it's, it's silly. Silly. Even if you have flash, she gets you. So... I'm learning. I'm just learning the hard way. But we'll come back. Ultimate's up in ten, so we're gonna look for an opportunity to gank. R is probably gonna kill them, but Nocturne's down there and he has his ultimate, so I'm gonna come in hot. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Lock and gold card. Ultimate nearby, go for Ari. So I'm gonna take the angle so I can get another gold card in. And that fear is gonna hit. Bada bing bada boom. Yeah! That's what's up. Okay, we got the kill. Next thing we do is take an objective. Except I don't think we can take this tower. So we'll just go back mid and farm. And we'll catch up a little bit in farm. So. And as you notice, my gold card ran out because Ari got out of range. And ever since they changed the fact that your cards don't stay above your head once you lock them in for very long. So, something to be aware of. We're lucky that our wild cards did hit. But that's the beauty of TF is I was at base and Ari was bottom. But having that ultimate allowed that fight to turn into a 4-4 four, four against 2. So, maybe that was a 3 for 2. I'm not sure. Already got boots of mobility. Yowza. Let's ward up. Nasus is top. Nasus is coming down, so this is gonna be a fight. We're gonna ignite right away. We're just gonna just put the, as much damage as we, as we can down. We're gonna auto him. What a nice guy, Nocturne. I love you. Ari's bottom. So this is going to be uncontested. And we'll push mid again. So I have enough, almost enough, to complete my Lich Bane. So once we have enough, then we'll go ahead and go back. See if we can't push this lane here and then go back. Always push the lane if they're gone and you don't think they'll be back in time. That way they're just losing all that XP and CS. Okay, did it, did it. and we're back. Perfect. So being down about 20 CS to Ari, if we're ganking, is not too bad. I mean, we're three one and one. Each kill is about 20 CS. So, Lich Bane and wards. We don't want to get ganked, so I'm happy buying more wards. And that's something that you should do: buy more wards than you think necessary, because the more vision you have, the less chance you're going to get ganked. You know where the enemy's at and it's better for your team so I'd probably say a lot of your kills are going to be from ganks so can we save the tower? we can save the tower I don't have flash up except for 30 so I see Ari going bottom and I'm just going to follow because I have my ultimate I'm an ultimate behind I am going to get out, because Ari is coming in. Let's see if I can get out quickly. Okay. We'll get out. And we got a kill at least. So 
So this guy's kind of mad at me that I got Kate. But if I would have stayed, I would have 100% died because it was 3v1 at that point. So we're just going to run up real quick. We don't want to take too much damage. We just want to harass. And we're going to kill this person. Nope, they got Ari. Ari flashed in, so at least we got the flash off, right? But Vlad was dead there. He was dead. So Ari's going top. We'll catch up and farm again. Okay, so one trick I want you to know how to do is if they're coming in a straight line, get your red card ready. And you hit the second minion. Oh. Nope, maybe not. And it clears entire waves once you get enough AP. I'm gonna wild card to get the extra CS there, but we don't know where Ari is, and she was top, so she's gonna be somewhere here. So we're just not gonna risk it. We're gonna go back to base. We're gonna get blasting one. And actually, you know what? We're gonna go Zonia's hourglass because I don't like the fact that Ari can just all in us, and if we have that stasis hourglass mode, then we can survive that much longer. So, Nocturne's mid. He doesn't have alt, so if we engage, that's something that we don't have that initiation. My alt is an 18. So let our team know, hey, I'm not sure where our dudes are. I did see Vlad there. And we got two wards to use, so. Alright, ultimate is up. So we just want to stay back. We don't want to show ourselves, right? The nice thing about TF is we come in when they don't think we're there. And... Can we do anything? No. We don't know where Ari is. Oh! And we're dead. <laughs> I was worried about that. But are we getting a kill here? Alright, nice. And when it's your fall, you say, Mobby. You just... Nocturne's getting that kill, hopefully. Yeah! Alright, that works for me. Yeah. Hey guys, Ari's missing, so... Oh, there she is. She's just she's just chilling. Her and Vlad are just creeping. Oh boy. So, let's see if they get out in time. So we're just going to start walking over. She's probably dead, but... If you look at the mini map, you see that big zone. So as soon as once they're in the zone, we can teleport in. But we don't want it to go Rambo. She's dead. She's dead. We'll say let's get mid. Right. I have flash ignite. We can kill. All right. Come on, team. Come on, team. She probably doesn't. There you Gold cards up. I have flash. Come on. Pop my pot. I should survive. Sweet. I have my ultimate if I want to go back in. I just don't see it. I don't see it. A point. Okay. Sorry, Zach. Thought I might be able to, to make an engagement. So, no matter how well you're doing, right, I'm 4 2 1. Of course, Ari's gonna have more CS, that's just the way it is. And I'm gonna go bottom. And people will just always find a way to yell at you. But we're gonna get this lock in that gold card, press R, alt behind her, just so she can't get away. And bada bing, bada boom. Then Zara's gonna be like, you don't gank it now. Coming in hot. Can we get her? Okay. Oh, we're just, we're doing it! If we get a correct fear. Oh, big balls, baby! Big balls, baby. Alright, so objective wise, we've killed. We're gonna conquer this tower. 
Nice and easy. We don't want to engage. We'll just take the tower, take the free money. If Dragon pops up, we'll go grab that. It's all about objectives. And we can probably take two. Do we have enough harass? We're just gonna we're just gonna poke. Get that gold card out. Gold card's up. Bada bing bada boom, baby. Alright, so you just kinda the thing is you wanna stay around the fight. Not enough to where you're getting hit, but just enough to where you can use that gold card once it's up again. So we'll get out. And and, and stuns are just so powerful in team fights, so I need 1600 for the second half of my hourglass, so that's what we'll do. There's Ari going bottom. Ari, you are a tricky one, aren't you? So, play it safe. Zach's taking mid, so okay. Get a health pot. We still have two wards that we need to play, so we'll do that. Ari's just really roaming. She can one up. She can uh, all in us. So we only need 500 to finish Hourglass, and then we'll be able to survive at least a little bit. And let our team collapse. So we really want that top turret, even out the towers. So we're also in 15, so there might be a good chance to gank here. Ari's probably right here, so yep. And we'll just put a ward here. Just complete vision. We know what Ari's doing, 100%. Oh, come on. So there's Sona there, because you saw the green, I guess. Oh, I don't want to ultimate into that, because we don't have anybody there. So we're just going to... Oh, I kind of like this. Ari, goodbye. So I have my ultimate up for later in the fight, right? So I have my ultimate up, so even if they escape, I'm not worried about it. So she goes back in the fight, and that's perfectly fine. Two, one. Doesn't matter what card comes up there, it's going to kill. So that, <laughs> that is how you do it. I'm happy with that. So again... In that team fight, you know, we have gold card up, we protect Graves because we are stunning Nasus. And at that point, you know, any wild card that it, that you throw is gonna do tons of damage. The nice thing with wild card is it doesn't decrease with the amount of champions that you hit. So it does full damage for every champion it hits. So it does 400 magic damage, and they're all clumped up like that to each champion. You get a couple of those off before you go in. So you just kind of poke in, you're in and you're out, right? You're like a boxer. You just jab, 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 out, jab, out. And that's how you got to play TF. Yeah. Gold card, wild card, out. Kind of chill out, wait around, gold card, wild card, out. Zonia's ring, yes. So if we get Dove on, if we get all in Dawn, we can Zonia's ring. We can survive. It does give us quite a bit of AP and some good armor in case Nasus wants to take a few cracks at us. So... And I love doing all in flash moves. Can we get this? Oh, big daddy. Boop. Sorry. Gold card's up soon, so we're going to get Nasus. Gold card, wild card. And you're going to stay with the pack, right? You know, run, run, run. Get that gold card ready. Okay, stay with the pack. And we just got to get this kill. If we take this kill, that's good. Get that wild card. Oh. Okay, get the tower. Tower first. Okay, and I have my ultimate up. I don't have any mana. Man mode, man mode. Wild card, come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Um, so when you're hitting towers, we're going to blue card the towers. And with Lich Bane, you do a ton of damage to towers. Oh, we're out. Sorry. Let's just put a ward here, just so we can tell if they're coming or not. And can Zach help me with this? <laughs> this is the worst idea. Okay, they we were trapped. 
We just want to make sure they don't burn. It's late enough in the game that if we they ace us or something like that happens, they can kill. So I'm walking all the way back. I'm not taking any risks at all. Because if they kill me, they could turn that into a Baron. And the fact is, I have my ultimate, so I can get there really quick. Next thing we're building is the Death Cap. We're just building tons of damage. I'm just warding up, right? I don't want to take any chances. I want to make sure I can see everything that's going on. Now they... looks like they might be doing that. I'm not close enough to alt in. If they are, I'm going to kill Ari, but they are for sure doing this. Yep. And we'll just back out. So I could have done vision early, but I knew they were there. And so if I would used my ultimate, I don't get the benefit of being able to teleport anywhere. So. You can also use your ultimate to, to escape. If you're too far forward, you can pop your ultimate, get out of the way. But we'll see how it goes. Nice thing with TF is if you want, you can backdoor. But it's always a risky proposition. So when they have Baron, we just have to wait it out. If we do that, then we're still going to be much more powerful. So we need help here. So they can't really push because the lane is pushed that far forward. So unless they want to tank it. And we're just basically going to poke them away. Because again, they don't have a, a pushing lane. So we just kind of hang out. And it would be okay if Nocturne got top. Kill Ari. Sounds great. I like I like this team. We're going to ward here. I want to have vision. There's no such thing as a wasted ward. For the most part. Because they're going to be pressuring us when they have Baron, so we're warding up our jungle, knowing where they're at, is a good idea. You got to do whatever it takes to win. Um, ideally, I mean, the fact that we're pushing and they're not pushing against us, I mean, it's it's in our favor because they have the Baron buff. It's on them to take advantage. So. I'm gonna get, let's see, consumable elixir of brilliance. Because that's kind of one way you can decrease the buff advantages if you pot up, but by no means does it come really that close. So we're gonna get there. You can wild card the waves, that way they can't really push on you. Or you can just use it to harass, so you can just wait it out. Look at them, it's over halfway done. But, again, just, just, you know, a little poke here and there. Don't want to waste all my mana, so. Alright. But if we can catch Arya like that, I mean, that's definitely worth fighting for. So, if it's there, take it. If it's not, just err on the side of just relaxing. But I do have my Zonia's Ring, so. And if I... If I get there, we can get that kill. I can use the, the hourglass, excuse me. Oh, okay. We'll go for the back line if they want to engage. I don't think they do. So, this is perfectly fine. And right now, it wouldn't be a bad time to engage. We have gold card. We'll hit Sona. She's a safe target. We're going to back out, wait till gold card's up. Stay with the team. We'll hit Vlad. I have Flash. I have a knife for my friend here. And let's get out. So that was basically a two for one. And they have Baron buffs. So that's good for us. We wasted a couple of their Barons. We didn't lose tower. Yeah, we're gonna just go balls deep, people. I'm gonna get the boots of Alkerty. Home guards here is nice. Oh, big daddy. Oh, big daddy. 
I'm gonna get a kill. Just gotta get in the range. Caitlyn. And then Vlad. Stay with them. Don't get charmed. And oh, Vlad. Your blood tastes so delish. So we'll go around. Let our guys take the inner... Inner... Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Wild card in here. I want it. I knew you were there. You <laughs> silly lad. And we are just cruising now. So at this point, they don't have any good Baron buff. We, I mean, we aced them basically. The fact that they had Baron buff. So we're gonna go back, play it safe, get blue, and push. And once we have death cap, we will be able to all in their squishies. So, almost there. Heavy elixir. And it's gonna get fun. Get this buff. Zack. We all have our ultimates, so, except me. Go kill Ari. We'll get the tower at least. 30 seconds on my ultimate. Something to be aware of. Put activate my pot. <laughs> yeah! So you see how much like CC matters? The fact is she has these all these dash moves, but that hard stun is just so powerful. So again, blue card the towers, you do a ton of damage. Two towers, so. Ari's dead. They can't really engage. They don't have one of their biggest damage dealers. So we just threaten the fact that we have this card above our head. And we're just going to wild card. It's okay just to hit and harass. That's what I love about TF is you just gold card, wild card to get out. Nothing fancy. I have my ultimate. If Zach is going in, we can ultimate behind the lines. That's usually a risky proposition. So Nocturne is it's not a bad play. Gives the tower. And you know what? If you can survive. We're just we're just doing it to survive or um, keep him alive. We're just like we're dinking and dunking, right? We're not trying to do anything crazy. We'll transfer this to bottom. I did see Ari. She's the only one I'm afraid of. She's the only one that I can't really get away from. So keep an eye on Ari here. My team is just insane right now. So I love him. So we'll walk middle. Maybe we can get some cheeky kills. My flash is up in 10. That usually means kills. Oh, this is not good. This is not good, homie. Boys, I have flash. Goodbye. Alright, we gotta run from Ari. Run! <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> My reign of terror has ended. It was totally worth, though. Totally worth. Maybe we can get this tower, I'm hoping so. Oh, Graves? Don't be. Come on, Graves? Um, this is a bad idea. <laughs> get out. Alright, after we have Zonias, we're going to go Void Staff. And really, at this point, we're going to be doing some huge damage. So, we got Bottom Tower, we got Top Tower in that most recent engagement. And that's okay. CS wise, we're only down 30, and, and CS at this point doesn't really matter, but. It goes to show that you might be down a little CS, but if you're when you're ganking and you're capitalizing on kills, then it's worth it to lead the lane. So we don't want them to Baron. That's really the only thing we're worried about. But they might be Baroning. Yeah. 
Okay, they have Nasus. So I'm gonna... Ah, oh, it's a risky bet. And if they burn, you know, it's not the end of the world. We just don't have a tank. It's not worth going in, feeding... Losing Baron. Or, uh, going in, feeding, and giving them Baron, too. So... So we can just hold off here. We're still really powerful. Especially me. Especially me. Keep the lanes pushed. Once Baron runs out, then we'll finish him. And I think we kill him with Baron. Ari does not have his own as Hourglass. So I can burst her down. I can all in her. And kill her. That's just how strong we are. Caitlyn's tops. So let's. Boop. So I mean, it does twenty-five percent damage. It's pretty nice. Oh, thank you, Graves. Love you. Oh, I want to kill. But we don't want to be impatient. And I am the worst at that so don't be impatient Nocturne's coming mid and they're a little I guess they might be a little weak don't know where they are we don't have vision there's one we'll stick around they're gonna look for a fight because they they want it they have Baron so we're just gonna just kind of chill seven on ignite so when that's up and I could go top and start pushing it would force him to come back. Oh, he's going in hot. Oh, he's on his ring. I'm dead anyways. So, it didn't turn out too bad. Alright, so, it, if anything, I, I poked Zonia out of the fight. Or poked her out of the fight long enough that she couldn't do a whole bunch of damage. I'm just making an excuse. That wasn't a, an ama wasn't an amazing play by me, but that turned into a five for one. So can I take any credit there? No. Yeah. No. Or do you just say my bad? I guess I would. Tr yeah, it's hard to say. The thing is. Why do I, I just constantly say the thing is, Graves on our team is legendary, so as long as he's alive, then we're going to win the fight. And I'll gladly trade my life one for one with Ari. As long as Graves stays alive, so. This game is coming to a close, I can feel it, we'll get blue buff, and let's push. Zonia Shrink's almost up. So. Boy, staff, we need a thousand. So everyone's going back. When we get Dragon, we'll have enough to get Void Staff. That's kind of like the Holy Quad Trinity is Lich Bane, Death Cab, Zonia's, and Void Staff. So. If you want to be super good, what you can do is ultimate, and then click your teleport in like you're gonna teleport in, and what? Excuse me. While you have your little teleport icon there, click your Zanya's hourglass, and so what it'll do is they think you're teleporting in, so it will force them to use their abilities. And if you use your hourglass, you'll stay in the same spot, so you actually won't teleport at all. Um. Gosh, I almost did it. But we'll go bottom. Maybe our team will, will come. So I see them on the mini-map, and I'm going to just ward here. I'm not going to risk it. Okay, they want to fight. And that's okay for us, because we'll just push. I'm okay. I push really fast when you have all this extra damage from Lich Bane. <laughs> see how much damage that does to the tower? So you're, we're just farming, or excuse me, we're just pushing. 
and they're just fighting and I'm just here and I'm like okay that sounds good to me and we might be able to turn this around here so notice how it, they're just they're fighting and we're just pushing and then you do so much damage and they have to back and it takes time and Boop. I'm dead oh oh big daddy big daddy oh <laughs> I totally thought I was gonna survive maybe get a kill but definitely worth their void staff adds a ton of damage so after this I could go ghosts um, this I'll show you twin shadows and you know what that sounds like it could be a lot of fun but the next team fight is going to decide this game so really made match resist negatron cloak would have been a better idea but we'll see all top after and let's win we can all go top the thing is when you have the inhibs down and they're so important because you get super minions and when you have super minions, the lane pushes automatically, so it forces the enemy team to have to defend and come back. So if you have towers out here that are up, you can get these towers for free because if they want to contest the tower, they're going to let all these minions push mid towards the nexus. So this is it. This is it. My Sony's hourglass will be up. Ultimate's up. Don't have much else. Free kill and Sona maybe. They're fighting, so I got to get my ultimate ready. And it's going balls to the wall. We're going Ari. Okay, we could we didn't have a target really. We'll zone his ring. We're gonna gold card and we're gonna run jib and jab, jib and jab, right? That's how we play. And that's how we play, baby. So that's the game. Say GG, be cool. And that's TF guys, that's part one. Hopefully I uh, implored some knowledge onto you. It's all about stunning, wild card, get out, and taking home the bacon. Get that LP. So I really appreciate you watching. If you liked what you saw, I just ask that you press that like button, button, button down below. Leave a comment. It could be anything, what I missed, something you'd like to see, what other champs, anything that I can do to help out. Any questions you have, I'm more than happy to answer. And go ahead and subscribe to my Facebook as well, because every time I make a guide, I put that on there as well. So. Thanks for watching. Definitely appreciate all the support I've gotten recently. And that's APTF Part 1 Mid. Love you guys and gals. Peace.